Hi there. Well, if you've been watching my channel recently, you'll see that I've been getting pretty excited about Music Assistant. This is a really great way of bringing all sorts of sources such as streaming, I'm using Spotify, local files and whatever audio sources you've got and then distributing them across various devices in your home from within Home Assistant, of course. Now, I was looking for a really cool streaming device to be able to pump high quality audio through a deck and then into my vintage hi-fi system that I've been building up. And I've been watching this thing called the Weem Ultra. Weem has been around for a while now. They've been producing various different streaming devices and the Ultra is the latest device. So the Weem is a really great looking slimline device and it even has a little screen which can be used to display the picture art of your album. It even has phono input so you could run a record player in there and you would then connect it to an amp and your speakers. So you can stream from all sorts of sources like Spotify, iHeartRadio, Tidal, Amazon Music, Cobuzz, even Napster, didn't even know they were around still, Pandora, TuneIn, Deezer and many more. And as I found out, you can even stream from Munich Assistant. This device has a really high quality DAC. It's a 32-bit, 384 kHz DAC. It's called the ES9038. So it offers a whole selection of different inputs. You can have a line in, optical in, HDMI, as well as a phono in. On the outside, we can listen via headphones. It's got a subwoofer out. You can even connect it to an external DAC if you don't want to use the DAC inside this device. And then of course you connect it to your amplifier and speakers. It's got this really cool looking three and a half inch screen on the front of the device. And this can be used to either show artwork of your actual music. You can use it, it's got a little dB meter like this. You can have your input selections. One of the really cool things about this is it has an equalizer built in as well. You can select from a whole lot of custom settings or you can create your own equalizer settings. So starting off by having a look at the device itself, it's got a really nice quality feeling and even the device itself is quite heavy. I'm sure that's partly due to the fact that the AC transformer is built in, which means you don't have that painful external power supply to deal with. So having a look at the front cover over here, we've got our headphone jack over here. We've got this little control. It's a volume control, so we can turn it up and down. Um, I don't find that the feeling of the volume control is great. It's the one thing on this device that I felt was a little bit poor quality. I would have loved to have that heavy weighted sort of feeling. And then you've got this press play button, which selects between pause and play on the music that you're running. Having a look at the little screen itself, it is quite small, so you probably might not want to be spending too much time looking at it, but it is great the way that it shows you a whole lot of information, as well as one of the really cool things is while you're playing an album, it will actually show you the album art. So you can select over here, you can select it to play from various sources, you can go in over here. We've got presets. I haven't set up anything at the moment, but you could do that. Uh, you can go through your inputs. Now, this is one thing I find a bit frustrating. If I change the input to TV, it always asks me to confirm this. Now, for me, that's a bit of an extra step that is not really necessary, and I feel it just slows down the interface. Um, we've got our outputs, so we could select, for example, with headphones. It doesn't seem to automatically switch to headphones. When you plug it in, you actually need to select it from here. Um, you can control your equalizer. So it's got a built-in graphic equalizer. It's got a whole lot of presets over here, which are really cool. And it does allow you in the app to go in and actually create your own custom equalizer presets as well. Um, looking at the info tab over here, it's got your things like your MAC address, etc. information on the build date, the software and everything. Um, you can also adjust your screen brightness over here. So you can just move that. With this display, you can also scroll. So if you scroll across, you go across the various different inputs or various different screens that are 
available on this device. So yeah, once again, super cool. On the top here, we've got the Weem logo. Looking at the rear side of the device, we've got our RCA line in over here. We've got our RCA line out that would go to your amplifier, or you could just plug this into powered speakers. You've got your phono input, so it's got the pre uh, the phono uh, preamp built inside of here. Um, I've heard people saying it's not the best phono preamp, but the sound to me was pretty good. Then we've got a dedicated sub out, so that will bring out your low frequencies and pass that on to the sub. Um, we've got a coax digital out over here. We've got a trigger out. Um, we've got our ground, which can be used with the phono if you've got a ground on your phono line. Uh, we've got an optical input and an optical output. So you can definitely go out and use another deck if you prefer. HDMI arc, so this is only an input. It doesn't have a video, a video output. That would have been another great feature that could have been added on if you could display information on your TV screen. That would have been awesome. Um, we've got a local LAN that we can plug in over here so you don't have to rely on Wi-Fi. You've got USB, so you could, for example, plug in a USB stick with some music on it. And of course, you've got your power supply over here. It also comes with a remote control. Now, this is not an infrared remote. It used some sort of a wireless signal that you would pair the device up with. So that's got a power. It's got a mic here so that you can use um, voice control. There's your voice control button over here. We've got this little control system here, which is volume up, volume down, next track, play, pause. And then over here, you can mute the device. You can select from the inputs or you can select from up to four presets as well. On the rear side of the device, you can just slip this off and you'll see it runs on two AA batteries. Sorry, AAA batteries. The app is really easy to use. At the top, you've got your different sources, inputs, you've got your library, and then you've got all these different options of different connected services that you can use. As you can see, there's a huge number here. Now, the one thing that really surprised me about this device, and I think is a fantastic, amazing thing about the way this is set up. Now, with most sort of streamers, you have to actually pay for a subscription to your different music service. With this one, you don't. So once you've connected up to your Spotify over here, all you do is you go into Spotify, you select the track that you want, and then you make sure that it's streaming to your Weem. It then pushes that right across to the Weem. And yes, you will get ads obviously playing and you're limited. I think it's to six skips every half an hour or an hour. But basically you can access your content free from the streaming service without having to actually sign up. If we go into one of our sources, for example, let's say the line in, we can go in here to the EQ settings. As you can see, you've got all these preset ones, but you can also go along and select parametric where you actually set up your own specific equalizer. Now, equalizers these days are crazily expensive. Very hard to get one actually to buy, and the old vintage ones are going for crazy prices. So it's great to have an equalizer built into this system. It also does have DSP, so you can actually run a little program that will check the sound in your area. It uses the microphone within the Apple iPhone, and that is pretty cool as well that it can actually set all of that up for you. So connecting this up to Home Assistant and Music Assistant was super easy. All I did is once I'd connected the device, it actually popped up and it calls itself Link Play. So if we go in over here, it automatically connected. Um, interesting enough, it's got two Weem devices. It's got the E950 as well as the 75. Not quite sure why that is. The 75 is the one that is operating. So there we go. As you can see, it's paused at the moment, but we've got the basic volume control and we can select source and things like that from within Home Assistant. We can also browse for local media within Home Assistant. So we can go, for example, there to some of our media and we can play media that is stored on the actual Home Assistant 
um, storage device. But once you go into Music Assistant, this is what really amazed me. You can actually select this Weem as an output from your Music Assistant. So over here, you can see we've got Weem. So we can go along here, we can press play, we can select the Weem. At the moment, I've got that connected. We press play. And there we go. It is now playing music directly from Music Assistant. You can see there it's all running and this is amazing. This is just the best for me. So I've got a super high quality streamer and deck and preamp that is then running into my Hi-Fi system at home. Now there was one issue that I had. I could not get the optical input working on this device however many ways I tried. I even went back to the support or the help from Weem itself. They did a whole lot of analytics back and forth with me, but for some reason, I cannot get it working. I even went back to the store I bought it from and swapped it out for another unit, but I cannot get optical in, and I really wanna get my TV sound operating through this device as well, which works on an optical out. So if any of you have had this issue, if you managed to solve it, please let me know. But overall, this device has absolutely blown away my expectations. I never expected it to sound this good, and I certainly never expected it to be this easy to connect into Home Assistant and Music Assistant, but also to be able to get free Spotify operating through this device. Now, just a caveat, you do obviously need to pay for the Spotify subscription if you are running it through Music Assistant. It only works on the free unpaid version if you're using it directly connected to the WIM. So overall, please let me know what your thoughts on this device is. Let me know what other devices you might be using to play audio with your home assistant. Tell me about your systems. Feel free, give me any feedback. And if you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe this video. It helps me to create more content. At the moment, I notice that only 50% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So it'd be great to have you on board to teach you some things, hopefully, and let me learn some things from you as well. I love getting audience feedback, so please feel free. Any comments are welcome. That's all for now. Hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the WEM, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.